Bonjour et bienvenue sur un nouvel épisode de On peut le dire. This one is a bit of a novelty and a bit of an experiment to see what happens. I want to see if I can shoot videos on my phone and just put them on YouTube quite easily, just in case, as today the school computer decides to completely stop working with me. Um, so hopefully this will work out. There may be traffic noise in the background. There may be a cat crashing the video at some point because I'm in the garden and she's in the garden and I haven't given her a fuss when I came home so she might come and require one or request one or demand one. She's a cat, today demands stuff. Um, so let me know in the comments, um, was the sound okay? Is this sort of format okay? Was the light okay? And um, is the old school whiteboard okay? And we'll see how it goes. And this time I have a script, so aside from this long intro, we should be a bit more straight to the point. So long overdue, on peut le dire épisode. Last time we looked at E versus E, so they were both open sounds. Um, but today we're recycling our E sound and we're now contrasting it with a closed E. So E, 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 E. You can hear and you can see my mouth get closer for that one, for the E sound. Um, so yeah, we're recycling some words we used last time, two of them, sir and peur, and we're going to add a third one underneath. Um, yeah, I'm telling you that at the end of the three, I think it's the best place to do that. So first, let's have a go with those two pairs. We've got, uh, as opposed to sir, quite open, sister, we have se, se, se. That's a demonstrative pronoun. If it's with ceci, then that means these. And so la, those. Okay, so si is for something close and la is further. So ce, si, ce, la, but we're just focusing on ce for now. So sœur, ce. Sœur, ce. Sœur, ce. The next one we have, we had peur last time, which was fear. And still is fear. We haven't changed the meaning since last summer. And then we have the verb peu. Peu. I've put a T here. Earlier I had an X. Um, it would be pronounced the same way, either way. So peu can or is able to, you can put an X and then it becomes am able to or are able to as in one person. So we have peur, peu, peur, peu, peur, peu. <coughs> so if we try and do the two pairs, sœur, ce, peur, peu, sœur, ce, peur, and then the third one, which is why I might get shaky after a bit, maybe not, that's about straight. The third one, uh, you've probably heard this one, joyeux, as in uh, joyeux Noël or joyeux anniversaire. So that means merry or happy or cheerful. It's also the name of one of the dwarves in the French version of Snow White. I had followed my script so well so far, and there you go, dwarves. Joyeux. Happy. Not happy. So joyeux is happy in French. Or merry or cheerful. So that's the masculine version. Joyeux. So we close the last one. Joyeux. And then the feminine version. That's, that might be a regional um, peculiarity. I know in my area we have what we call le carnaval. Which lasts two to three months a year. From February to the end of March. Beginning of April. Um, and we have various sorts of celebrations. And in that, there's a, a moment when we have three nights in a row to celebrate, and we call these les trois joyeuses, so the three cheerfuls. And normally, it's it's an open E uh, at the end, so les trois joyeuses. But again, that might be a regional thing, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. You could probably close it if you wanted to. For today, we're going to open it for the sake of practice. Okay? So we have joyeuse, joyeux, joyeuse, joyeux. And so, if we go through all six of them, sœur, ce, peur, peu, joyeuse, joyeux. Sœur, ce, peur, peu, joyeuse, joyeux. And I've done it, I've closed it here, haven't I? I don't know if you heard it, but if you didn't, you can go back a bit, listen, and I've done this one wrong. I actually produced this sound instead of this one, which goes with um, my guess that Opening it is probably us saying it wrong when we say les trois joyeuses. Um, so it should probably be here, but joyeuse, joyeux. Let's pretend it's here, just for today. Um, so 
in general, and we've just seen it's not always true, but in general, what happens is you close the sound, e, if it's the last phoneme of the word. You can see here, joyeux, peu, se. There is no other phoneme after the e sound in that word. So you close the sound to close the word. However, in these, you have the r phoneme here, consonant phoneme, and here you have a z phoneme. So the word is not completely finished. There is a soft consonant sound after your phoneme. Therefore, you open it because the word still is open. So that could be a way for you to remember it. Mostly, this sort of thing, opening and closing your e or e, will come spontaneously. The main reason we have them in French is just because it's easier to have them come out this way. It's more, it's just more spontaneous, more natural. And so in order to practice that and see it in, see it in action, we have a sentence. It's not really a don't twister, it's not really funny either. Um, so we have, ma soeur veut se lever à deux heures, which is just my sister wants to get up at two o'clock. I don't know. Um, and in purple, I've put the vowel phonemes that we're practicing. So in black, you have the spelling and in purple, the, pho the um, phonemes. Okay, so we have ma, open a, sœur, quite open, veut. So we go from very open, quite open, close. Ma sœur veut. Okay, and then the next line. So this could be softer and we'll do that in the next video. But for today, let's just make it strong and close. Se. So we have se lever. We're recycling the old A that we did, uh, I think, two or three videos ago. So se lever. A. Arguably, you could do se lever, a, but I think that's a bit excessive today. So se lever. A. So we go ma soeur veut se lever. A. Okay, so we have open, half open, close, 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 a bit stretched, open. And then the last bit, you go from close to open, so we have deux heures, deux heures. And notice how your X here is going to tie into your next vowel sound. The H isn't pronounced and the X is sounded as a Z just to soften it. It's called une liaison. So we have deux heures, okay? So ma soeur veut se lever à deux heures. And that's going to be our sentence today. Um, something that could help you maybe is to emphasize certain parts. So I was going to put this away, but I want to use it again. So keywords and key sounds that we're going to emphasize. Is that the right word? Emphasize? Emphasize? I'm going to need to check that afterwards. Ma soeur. The. So that's the noun and that's the subject, so it's important. And that means that we are emphasizing it. And this is what I mean when I put a line, a line over it. Ma soeur veut se lever. End of the verb. Get up. Up is key. À deux heures. It's important to know it's two o'clock, not three. And it's hours, not um, in two beds or something. It would be weird in French to not say hours. Okay? Um, I think I'm not recording. Yes, I am. Suddenly I thought, no, I'm not recording. I've just been talking to myself for eight minutes, which is quite a long time, actually. So let's do this one and then that may be it for us. If the crowds stop. Uh, so let's go. Ma soeur. I don't know why I froze brain freeze. Ma soeur veut se lever à deux heures. 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 And that's it for us today. Uh, next time we'll look at a new sound which actually does exist in English this time. It's called schwa. And it's this symbol, schwa. It's very weak. So it's typically the E that we drop in French. You probably have met this already in your French lessons. Uh, so next time we're contrasting either E and E or E and E. They're really close, those two. Uh, probably most French people don't really perceive the difference and it's just in action that it matters. So that should be a nice one. And then we'll only have one pair of oral vowel sounds to do before we dive in and do the nasal vowels, which will be fun. Okay. So um, that's it. 
Obviously, the downside of me doing this on my phone and here at home uh, is there is no intro and outro like I'd been trying to do. So um, it's just me. And so for the outro, all I can say is like if you like this, subscribe if you haven't already done so, share this with anyone you think this might help. If you have any feedback, anything you liked or uh, didn't particularly like on the opposite uh, end of the spectrum, let me know in the comments below and then obviously I can work on it and improve those videos. And I think just to say goodbye, I'm going to show you my little cat. That's probably a good outro. Lots of people do cats on YouTube. So, cats. Luma! Tu viens? Bon, oui. Tu viens, ma puce? Tu dis au revoir? Oh, oui, t'es belle. So, that's it. I hope that was Luma. I hope you saw her because I wasn't really looking at what you saw, I was just looking at her directly. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!